YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, parse, and does anybody parse anymore? I don't think anybody parses. Also, hit that bell to be notified every three to six months, maybe even a year of videos that I upload. You don't want to miss that. This is a video. You saw that coming, didn't you? You, you knew that already. I don't even need to explain that to you. It's a video about building a ladder from me to you. No, no. It's a video about building a ladder from the ground to the roof of my really cool van. Why do we want to get on the roof of the van? I want to build a roof rack so that I can stand on the roof and be closer to the stars. That's why. But first, our warm-up project is the ladder. And the ladder is going to be built from aluminum because aluminum's really cool and I like building with aluminum. Also, I need to be better at welding aluminum and if I do a whole bunch of welding, I'll get better. One and a half inch, 60-61, 120 wall. It's pretty thick, but that allows me to have a little bit more, you know, flexibility on my welding. We're gonna do some bending. We're gonna do some coping. I think we all need to do some coping, don't we? I mean, it's been a really hard year. I think we could all use a hand coping. Like I said, two easy steps. Okay, it's not, it's not even two steps. It's like 150 steps. It's, it's so many steps, you won't even believe it. If I had told you that in the beginning, you wouldn't even, we could do it in two. I swear, we'll, we'll figure it out, two steps, I swear. All right, let's jump in, get started. All right, so the bender is just set up on the table. You crank this and then one arm engages. That allows the other one to disengage. So I'm sneaking up here on 80. And there's a little bit of spring back here. Pretty close, uh, I might give it another tweak. So I'm just trying to match the angle here and I only wanna do one bend, so the second bend is down here. I'm gonna cut off a little bit of that up there just to help keep it close to the body, but I needed at least that much to hold the tube. And then it's gonna come down and attach to that seam with some sign, some kind of a bracket. All right, so tube goes back into the bender. I am doing it based on where I want the bend to start and where the die is hitting, so I'm measuring off of the die. Now, in order to make sure that it's level here and that all the bends are in the same line, I'm measuring with this. So I've already made a couple of bends, uh, 80 degree bend, 20 degree bend, and now I'm gonna do another 80 here and hopefully that will get me to tuck underneath of the van. talk to you a little bit about layout and one of the things that I use. I'll show you a quick trick. This is a uh, Dicom blue and it's basically used to paint the surface of metal. You can see I've done it here and then you can draw a line through it with a scribe. It gives you a, a reference point for cutting. Well a really great and quick solution is a fat blue sharpie. You can just quickly draw on the metal and then scribe through it and you get an accurate line. And you don't have to wait for the dicom to dry. All right, so these are the clamps that I made for the rain gutter. And um, right here, I'll just show you how they go. This is how they're gonna work. And I'm gonna weld the tube to the larger block.
All right, so that is tacked together just at the top right now. And I believe that I've got my clearance. I had to move things a little bit. Aluminum is pretty forgiving about gaps. And I don't have a level driveway, so I kind of have to just eye it. I mean, I could re-zero my level, but I don't think you can argue with me that that is pretty square. Yeah. All right, I've made the clamps and I've bent the rails, uh, the, the long parts of the ladder. So now to fit it to the van, the only way I can kind of do that is to do it on the van. Nothing is really square. There's a lot of wonkiness uh, if I were to try, and I did. Last night I spent a lot of time trying to put that thing together so that I could uh, tack weld it. It's not happening. So it needs to be done on the van. The van is essentially the jig. So let's do that. are done. They're tack welded in place. I have cut four of the rungs that are going to be on the long part of the body. And now it's time to put this on the van. It's coming along. All right, so I'll just quickly kind of show where I'm at right now, tell you how I'm doing it. I've sort of tacked this one on, like my mount. This one is very lightly tacked because I wanted to twist this. I added another bend so that the, um, the back part had a little taper to it so it matched up to the, uh, to the back of the van. It's like if I'm building this myself, I can really kind of make it fit. So, I decided I was going to uh, frame out the logo and it looks to be about nine inch spacing and I'm going to go with that because that gives me a fair number of steps that will make it easier for like kids to climb. <laughs> part here where we have an angle and that is telling me whoa, somewhere around 11 12 degrees so I now have tilted the head of the mill to about 11 or 12 degrees somewhere in there
right, it's all uh, tack welded and uh, just put it on the van for its first test fit. So let's take a look. Fuck yeah. I think that's pretty cool. I think that, let's take a look. Hell yeah. It's a bit of a high step, but that's as low as I could get the first step. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. The question will be, can the kids climb it? That's really the big issue. So one thing I want to do is now that I'm up here, I can see that it hasn't set all the way. So I'm going to just sort of, I think just file that a little bit so that it is a little tighter. I am basically hand filing a little bit of a groove in here to help this get down and clamp on the flat part of the rail a little bit better. Should make it a little stronger, a little bit more secure. The last part is to secure the bottom of the ladder to the body. And I'm not doing the frame because the frame and the body are rubber mounted. There's a lot of twisting. It's a big heavy van and uh, it needs to just stay on its panel. So here's where we're at. That's pretty cool. So these little blocks here are going to uh, bolt or just be welded onto the bottom. And then they're gonna go through uh, this flange at the bottom of the quarter panel on the back. And now that I am looking at this, I'm realizing I should probably lop off these edges because that doesn't look very cool to just have a big rectangle. This is really probably not how you're supposed to do this, but I've just set this up as an angle and then I'm letting it bottom here on the vise. And then I'm just going to take a cut, flip and hit the other side. So I don't know. We'll see. So that could be just a hair up. Might even be able to tap that and get another tack on there. Oh, wait, did I take that back?
really has to be tapped into place. All right, and this one looks pretty good. I'm gonna get this top set really perfect. All right, uh, quickly, it, we're losing light, it's getting dark, but I, um, I just mounted it up and uh, tightened up the clamps up there. And also, hang on, welded these guys on and bolted them through that seam, that rail. And um, yeah, it is. It's absolutely. You could lift the van off of this thing. It's, it's insane. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,